In this video, I will be going over the Bloodstained Physical DPS Damage Gene Build starting right now. Hey, what's cracking? It's your boy Aiden. This is the giveaway reveal. I'll be picking 5 subscribers that commented on my latest videos. The winners are... Congrats to the 5 winners. Y'all just won 10 dollars gene is at level 90 for the weapon here i'm gonna be using aquila favonia level 90 for the artifacts i am using the four piece blood stained set this is a blood stained physical damage gene build guide for the feather here i have attack crit rate and attack percent for the flower i have hp crit rate crit damage for the hourglass i have attack crit damage and crit rate on it for the hourglass i have physical damage with crit rate on it and for the helm i have crit damage with crit rate on it for the constellation jean is at zero constellation for the talents she's at level 9 normal and charge attacks level 6 gale blade and level 6 dandelion breeze and for the attributes she is at 34 percent and 168 percent crit damage it is kind of low on the crit rate but I'll make it work and the most important is going to be physical damage bonus at 124.6% and this is adventure rank 52 world level 7 I'm going to be eating Palim up it's a 3 star food it's going to increase my crit rate so I'll be more consistent with damage Oh, Jean can kill the villain. Yeah, feels very good. Top tier waifu too. I'm gonna be fighting child without any food buff. If this is your first time here and you want to build your Genshin Impact characters and be best at it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss me when I go live. One thing you guys want to make sure is that Jean's charge attack damage is really really high, 298%. So I think Jean is going to be one of the highest hitting charge attack characters in Genshin Impact. And how Bloodstain work is that you're going to be spamming and doing a lot of charge attack and for Jean I feel like Bloodstain is going to be one of the best physical damage builds aside from 4 piece glad set so just to let you guys know charge attack is really high skills really high and Jean is going to be doing a lot of damage one subscriber commented right here suggesting that I should use Zing Q's ult and Kaios ult to proc freeze effect so that's exactly what I'm going to do with this bloodstained review in the beginning here. Pop Zing Q, pop the alt. Pop Kaya, pop the alt. And now she's just going to freeze. And she's just going to do extra damage. Whoa, look at that. 26,000 damage. So with bloodstained set, you're looking to do a lot of physical damage so you're going to be utilizing her normal attacks and you're going to be doing a lot of charge attacks 
and since Jean puts enemies in the air what you want to do is you want to freeze them so they don't go up in the air usually you would one shot these small mobs though in big mobs you don't really need freeze but on small mobs if you don't crit they don't usually die in one hit so what you can do is you put them in the air if it doesn't crit you can follow up with E it will usually kill them what you want to do with the freeze effect is you want to make sure that they get frozen and it's just going to be much easier for Jean to do normal and with bloodstain you're looking to do a lot of charge attack so if they are frozen they are not gonna go up in the air and so you can just constantly spam charge attacks and it's going to be on small mobs it's gonna be good on small mobs okay so you just um, you know you just freeze it right and you can just uh, I guess you can just freeze him I'm in the dance of steel dungeon. I'm gonna use the two fire buff, use Zin Yen's E for the extra fire, extra physical damage, and I'm using Child for the extra normal attack. So pop Zin Yen, do this. Forty-one thousand damage. Not bad. On these big mobs here, you want to make sure you super conduct them. And the charge attack is nice because it's going to do a lot of damage on them still. Obviously, they have um, physical resistance, so it's not going to do as much damage. But they have such a high physical damage. I'm playing co-op and I'm gonna show you guys that Jean can actually carry the whole team and act as a healer at the same time. I'm at the dance of steel dungeon. I'm gonna use Bennett this time. 56,000 damage. Whoa. Obviously, obviously, it has to crit though. To do a lot of damage. The best artifacts for physical DPS gene build is going to be 4 piece gladiator set to 2 piece glad 2 piece bloodstain set and the 4 piece bloodstain set. The 4 piece gladiator set is nice for normal attacks and with gene you will be doing a lot of normal attacks because of the lifesteal and for the party. The problem with this set is that it's almost impossible to have good substat rolls on it because it costs way too much resin to farm them. 
two piece gladiator and two piece bloodstain set seems to be very balanced and good if you're going to focus mainly on the charge attacks like how i'm doing with this gene here the four piece bloodstain can work really good with gene for the best weapons aquilia for bonia five star weapon is the best for the four star weapons the black sword prototype and the black cliff are all good options for the four star weapons in case you missed my latest video it should pop up here make sure to come check me out in live stream and i'll be answering all of your questions particularly in your individual needs i'll see you guys in the next video peace out